In this video, you are going to learn how to use the tiles component. You'll first need to add the tiles component. Once you've added the tiles component, click Add a tile. Add the text that's going to appear on your tile. Set the colour of your text. If you want a background colour to appear behind the text, you can set this in the background colour. There is a slider underneath the colour palette to adjust the transparency. It looks really great when creating tiles to have a transparent colour behind the text of your tile. This works especially well if your tile has a photo behind it. Then choose where the text is going to sit on your tile. The next step is to add a link that the tile will take you to when you click on it. You can insert a URL for an external site, or you can choose Browse Resources and locate a page within your school's Schoolbox instance. Then click Use this folder. Next select if your link will open in the same tab or window, or in a new tab or window. The last thing you need to do to your tile is to set the background. There are a few options you can choose here. You can use colour to set a background colour, or you can drag and drop an image into the image field to have your background be an image. If you are using an image, you have two options. You can either have your image take up your whole background. To do this, select Stretch to Cover Entire Tile. Or you can select Resize to Fit Within Tile, which will give you options to select the position of the image within the tile. This means, for example, that you could have your image at the top of the tile and some text at the bottom of the tile. Next, you can set a hover colour. A hover colour is the colour the tile changes to when you move your mouse over it. The hover acts as a sign that the tile has a link and can be clicked. It is recommended that you use the transparency slider at the bottom of the colour palette to make your hover colour semi-transparent. This way, users can continue to see the text and image beneath when they mouse over the tile. When you're happy with how your tile has been set up, just click Save. You can continue to add more tiles by clicking Add Tile. Once you've added your tiles, you will then need to set the layout of your tiles. It's important to note here that all tiles you create in a component must be the same size. If you're wanting to have multiple tiles of multiple different sizes, you will need to use different tiles components for each of the different shapes and sizes. So for example, you might have one long tile banner at the top of your page and then some smaller tiles beneath it. This would be created using two separate tiles components. When you're setting the layout of your tiles, you have two different options, grid or column. Grid allows you to set the size of the tile no matter what device or screen you are viewing the tiles on. They will always be the same size. So, if you create six tiles that are 200 pixels, and are viewing the tiles on a larger screen, you will probably be able to see all six tiles in one row. However, if you are viewing the tiles on a smaller screen, you might see three tiles in the top row and three in the bottom row. Or on a really small screen, you might just see one tile per row. The columns option is different in that you can set how many tiles appear across each row. For example, you may want to set three tiles in each row no matter the screen size. So if you're viewing the tiles on a large screen, you will see three quite large tiles in a row. The tiles will then shrink according to the size of the screen, but there will always be three in the row. Next, you can set the percentage of padding. This is how much space will appear between each tile. Your last step is to set the shape of your tile. You can choose between the preset shapes of landscape, portrait, square and panorama. 
or you can set a custom ratio. Once you're happy with your tiles, just click Save. You will then see your tiles on your home page. You can then move the tiles component around the home page. You can go back and modify your tiles at any time by clicking Modify.